Uh, it's all sorted. Sorry. It's sorted? Okay, great. So, yeah, 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 don't panic. All right. <laughs> so, no, I didn't, I didn't panic. No, I didn't panic. Just, uh, just uh, a little yeah. tranquilizer sign here. Yes, fine. Great. All right, yes, yes, good. No. <laughs> good. So, um, is everybody able to hear me now? So, probably I should. Yeah. Oh, yes, they can. Yeah, I okay. can edit this off. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't okay, so, um, I'll, I'll, I'll go on stage at 12 o'clock and yeah. start the whole thing up. Okay, good. That's it. All right, thanks. Bye. Good. Bye. And I look at my phone between each item. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Fabulous, hello. Hey, Yakov. Yeah. I've just got one thing to ask you. Um, are you in front of your OBS? Well, is it, is it, are we still live? We're, we're live, yes, okay. and we can hear everything that you're saying, but all you need to do, you know, on the there's a little channel where it shows the sound. Um, um, I'm not quite well, sure what you're... audio mixer. Audio input capture, audio mixer, yes, okay. And um, can you go to the bottom that way? It looks like a little trumpet and just press that so it's red with an X and that will stop the sound. Do we need to stop the sound? Yeah, just for now, so that people can't hear us talking because now everyone can... So where do I do this? Where do I do this? Just, just at the... At the um, huh. I don't want to make anything... I can go to a different room. Wait, I can go to a different room. Okay, okay. So otherwise, I can just leave everything as it is, yeah? Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. 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 Changed anything with the, with the sound now because I'm just worried now. If it does come to something, it's wrong. It's wrong. Bye bye.
Hello and welcome. A year, exactly a year ago, it was when we went into the first lockdown. And I would like to join the nationwide one minute silence at the beginning of this recital to reflect upon the past year and to commemorate the victims of the pandemic. So one minute of silence. Welcome again. Just to warn you, I need to look at my phone from time to time because uh, the, technic the, the technology is managed actually in, down in Sussex and just in case that anything goes wrong I need to know. So I, between each item I will check my phone. Welcome again and really nice that you could join. Um, welcome to my living room here in York. It is really wonderful to have been invited to perform for the Reza Midday Concert Series. In the past, I had the privilege to perform together with the Reza Ensemble, and I sincerely hope that we can meet again soon and make music together again very soon. I really miss that. I would like to say a big thank you to um, my wonderful friends and colleagues, Sarah dubost Otfeu and Pavlos Cavallo, for inviting me and for making this possible. A very special thanks also to Hannah Carter, who did all the organization, sound checks, promotion. And this concert series, the Reza Ensemble concert series, would not, it would not be possible without the generous support of the following organisations and individuals. And this is the Arts Council England, the Sussex Community Foundation, the company It's Magic and Tim French. So thank you to all of you to keep performing the performing arts alive during this pandemic. Thank you very much to all of you. Yeah, the lockdown has been tough one year now and it has been very challenging for me as well. But I think, after all, I feel I've been quite privileged actually. I live in a beautiful place. I have been able to communicate with friends and family online, primarily online. And I have my piano so I can make music and last but certainly not least, it has been wonderful that I uh, was able, have been able to continue teaching my students, meeting my students for online lessons throughout this pandemic. And in the spirit of reflection, I think I would say another, like to say another thank you to all of my students. You have been absolutely magnificent during this time and uh, I thank you for your resilience and determination. That's been absolutely wonderful and I'm very privileged to be working with you. One of the things uh, I've done over lockdown is learning quite a bit of new repertoire. And all the pieces you're going to hear in this lunchtime concert are taken from the pool of works I've been studying, I've been learning new during 
the past year. I'm going to begin with two preludes by Debussy. Debussy gave his preludes names, but they're not titles in the common sense. He actually wrote them at the end of the prelude, not at the beginning, not on the top of the prelude. So it's a bit like you hear a piece of music and, um, well, you have an afterthought. You say, well, this is what it could mean, but there are other ways to interpret this music. The first prelude I'm going to play is number five from book two. It's called Bruyère, which means heather. And the second piece is Les Fées sont exquises danseuses. The fairies are exquisite dancers. So Bruyère and Les Fées sont exquises danseuses by Debussy. Do check my phone in case anything doesn't work. It seems to be all right. So.
So one of the, actually the main project of the first lockdown for, for me was learning the third book of Liszt's Année de Pèlerinage. Année de Pèlerinage means years of pilgrimage. And I'm now going to play two pieces from this third book. I'm checking my phone quickly so I can see that text seems to still be all working fantastic. I'm going to perform number three and number four of book number three. Both pieces are inspired by the Villa d'Este in Rome. This is a place where Liszt spent much time, quite a lot of time, in his later years. So the first piece is called Au Supré de la Villa d'Este and is inspired by the cypresses near the Villa d'Este. It's also called Trinodi. So Trinodi is a dirge or a lament. And I've been thinking, so what is this piece actually lamenting about? And whilst I'm sure there are lots of different ways this can be interpreted and read, I feel one interpretation uh, comes to mind here, and that is it's a lament about transience, about uh, the fugacity of existence, just expressing sadness that time passes. And in the fourth piece, the following piece is called Les Jeux d'eau à la Villa d'Este. It's inspired by the beautiful fountain uh, at the Villa d'Este. Um, Liszt gives a very positive and hopeful answer. It's in the, the, in the autograph, <coughs> in the middle of the piece, he adds a quote from scripture, which says, For the water I give him will become in him a fountain of the eternal life. <coughs> For the water I give him will become in him a fountain of the eternal life. And so Liszt finds solace, or this piece suggests that we can find solace in a vision of eternal life and a vision in of a spirituality. So this is Liszt, uh, Au Supré de la Villa d'Este, and Les Jeux d'eau à la Villa d'Este.
It never ceases to amaze me how Liszt was ahead of his time. A lot of how much he anticipated already the impressionistic and in some ways also the expressionistic styles which took off just quite a, well, a few decades later. Before I play my last piece I need to check my phone if everything is alright but it seems to be the case. So. I'm going to conclude my short recital with uh, a piece by the Armenian uh, Soviet composer Aram Kachaturian, the Toccata in E flat minor. This piece is full of rhythmic energy and some bravura, um, but underlying all that spectacle, I think there is a deep sense of melancholy, as I, I think I can hear in all Armenian music music, be it Comitas or Ave Terterian, or of course Kachaturian. So Toccata in E flat minor by Aram Kachaturian.
So thank you very much for joining this lunchtime concert today and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and with all best wishes. Bye bye. Pablos, hello. Pablos, I just...